hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me, your host, Jonathan, once again bringing you my Supergirl Season 2 Episode 10 review. Um, not bad of an episode. It was okay. It wasn't exactly great. I was expecting a little bit more from this episode. I mean, this episode had live wire, so that was cool. And after you saw the ending of last week's episode, you do realize that Monel wants to become a superhero and team up with Kara. And obviously he does, but you know, he needs a little bit more practice. So you have, you know, Kara trying to teach him how to be um, a superhero with boundaries and, you know, you know, always got to do it the right way and this and this and that. And then, of course, you have Livewire locked up in prison and somebody breaks her out. Now, is that a friend or a foe? Who knows? You don't find that out until the middle of the episode. But then when you get to that point, you're like, oh, that was kind of boring. I mean, the person who basically broke her out of prison wasn't even a friend. He was basically a, a foe. He wanted to use her powers to create his own electricity super soldiers so that way he can sell it to the military and make a lot of money. And he has his own electricity powers as well. And he made Livewire very pissed off at him. And while that's all happening, you have um, the Martian Manhunter, obviously. He's trying to deal with the White Martian who's having some weird flashbacks of her people because they're sending a message. And this is when you find out at the end of the episode. Find, you know, sending a message saying that they're coming for her, they're going to hunt her down for betraying the team or whatever it was. And like I said, you know, you have Martian Manhunter try to deal with that. If he's not sure if he should save her because, you know, he hates the White Martian. Or maybe he's actually maybe fallen for her. Who knows? But, like I said, it was an okay episode. It wasn't exactly great. Um, cool action scenes, but, you know, what can he do? And, of course, Kara finds out who, who, um, um, about, um, you know, about the whole Livewire situation. And then she ends up teaming up with Livewire. And while that's all happened, she also finds out a vigilante and finding out that that's, uh, Jimmy Olsen. And she's not happy about that, you know. She doesn't want him to be, you know, a vigilante or be out there in the field and trying to help out the city. He, she gets it why he wants to do it, but she's still concerned about, you know, his safety and all that. And that, like I said, it was an okay episode. It wasn't exactly the best episode. Um, but like I said, I, I had fun with it. I watched it. It was okay. Not my personal favorite episode of the year. But, you know, there are other episodes more better. Hopefully next week's episode is a lot better because... Apparently, White Martians are going to be coming into the episode, so at least that. And, you know, the ending was okay. They fought, they teamed up with Livewire, and she teamed up with Vigilante, and they all, and mon and they all beat Livewire and the copycat guy. So, at least that. And, obviously, Livewire escaped, because Supergirl let her escape, or have a head start. So, there you go. So, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about the episode, if you've seen it, and... What do you think about Supergirl so far? So far, it's okay. So far, the season's okay. It's not exactly The Flash or Legends of Tomorrow or even Gotham. But stay tuned because I'm talking about that one next and that's going to be awesome. Um, but yeah, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought. Thank you and have a good day.